Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, I don't know if you realize this, October is sausage month. And one of the things you hear about Louisiana sausage, you always hear about on Dewey, you hear about our smoked sausage and things like that. But something, if you've ever come to New Orleans and have had a pull boy, you might have seen on the sign a hot sausage pull boy. We love hot sausage. And we're gonna make a hot sausage stuffed bell pepper today. Now, what I've done, I had a little bit of olive oil in the pan, and I've started sauteing off my sausage and I, I've taken it out, okay? Now, I got it as a kid, I got to watch a, a, a market my mother went to, watch them make hot sausage. And I tell you what, originally when you get hot sausage from a butcher, there's a lot more fat in the pan that's left over. Because, you know, at a butcher shop, they would save all their trimmings to use to make their sausage with. So basically, I've sauteed off the sausage but that came in a casing, right? And here, I want to just... Now, Monica asked about the casing, okay? If you have sausage in a casing, of course, cut it out of the case, casing. If you don't have the traditional hot sausage like we have here in New Orleans, you can always use an Italian hot sausage. Now, the Italian hot sausage, you can find it in bulk, you can find it in a case. The regular hot sausage, you can find it either in a case or it'll come in bulk. Either way, it's fine because we want to go ahead and brown it off, all right? We want to go ahead and get it mostly cooked in our skillet. And I left the oil in because I want our onions to saute and absorb in this flavor. Now, this is a personal thing. Remember, I always tell you to cook to your personal taste, all right? How long do you want these onions to cook? Some folks like to let them cook to where they get soft. Some folks don't. I don't like them to get too soft because they're going to bake later on. And this way, this gives us a little texture. So let's go ahead and get in our garlic. All right. And you know that garlic, oh, I tell you what, it has such a great aroma. We've got our garlic in. Look at the dry seasonings that we're going to use here. I have a little basil, thyme, I have a little oregano, I have red pepper flakes, a little bit of Creole seasoning, and a little bit of salt. So let's go ahead and sprinkle our herbs in and our seasoning in. See, we don't need too much because we're going to get flavor from the sausage that we're using. Now, if you're not a spice fan, you can do this with ground meat. You don't necessarily have to use hot sausage, especially if you're not a hot type fan. Diced tomatoes. I like to use a petite, but I like the fire roasted tomatoes. If you haven't used those fire roasted tomatoes yet, I tell you what, they are so good. They give such great flavor. So now here, oh, this just needs to heat up all the way through. Because remember, we're going to bake it in the oven. I can go ahead and turn our fire up a little higher. And I have cooked rice. Okay? Basically, you all know me by now. I don't like to cook in plain water. So I cooked my rice in a little chicken stock. And I also put a little cilantro and parsley down in the water. When it cooks, we'll get our rice in. And because this is going to bake more... If you want, you can undercook your rice just a little bit. Don't have it to where it's really, really, really mushy. Okay? Now, also in here, let's go ahead and add just a half a cup of chicken stock. That little bit of chicken stock is going to keep this nice and moist. It'll also, as this heats up, that rice will absorb this little bit of stock more. All right? And we can get our sausage back in. Now, I like to go ahead, let this simmer for about five minutes. And once this simmers for about five minutes, just for those flavors to blend together, then we could start filling our bell peppers. Our flavors have totally combined during this time. Now, I'm using a red bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper. You can use green bell peppers if you like. Now, some folks like to chop, cup off the top of the bell peppers and put them standing up, 
filled them this way standing up, I decided to cut them in half. So now we want to get these filled, okay? So just take some of that, pack it down in there real tight. Once you get it down in there tight, then you can always go ahead and stack up the top. And you know, see, how big do you want your sausage? Do you want your sausage big or small? Totally depends on you. So let's get the rest of these all filled. Now, I've gotten our peppers filled. And take a little cheese. I'm using an Italian blend, all right? You can use whatever cheese that you like. Just go ahead and pop it right on the top. All right, there we go. And you see, we're doing this with the hot sausage, but remember, you could do this with ground turkey. You could do this with ground meat, ground chicken. Use what you like, use what you happen to have. The other thing we want to do, we want to cover this with foil. We're gonna put this in a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes because we want the bell peppers to get fork tender. The last five minutes we'll take the foil off so our cheese can kind of brown on the top just a little bit to get nice and melty. So let's go ahead and get these covered and get them in the oven. I've taken the peppers out of the oven. Now remember, in the oven for the first 30 minutes, I had them tinted. I took the foil, I tinted it, meaning I wanted to arch so they're not right on top. The last five minutes, I took the foil off, and you can let them go if you want to put them under the broiler to brown off, but I tell you what, see, our peppers are cooked to where they're nice and tender. And the reason I like to use the red and the yellow is because when I eat this, I like to cut it and eat the pepper as well. Now some folks just scoop it out and eat the insides out the pepper, but I like to eat the pepper as well. Keep in mind, we did this with hot sausage, but use anything that you like. I hope you try this recipe. I think you're really gonna like it. Thank you for cooking with me today and hanging out. Stay safe, keep washing those hands. For WWL TV, I'm Chef Kevin Belton and we'll see you soon.